Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. Now that I'm back on the channel and man, it's good to be back. It's time to cover a Rome 2 mod I've kept my eye on for the last six months. It's been getting a ton of updates that we have to talk about. From unlocking every single faction in the game and its DLCs, adding hundreds of fantastic new units, overhauling the economy, technology, and building systems, to enhancing the campaign and battle AI, as well as the graphics, the mod I'll be showcasing today often comes up in debates on whether it's better or not than Divide and Impera, which should say a lot. So in this video, I'll be going through all the latest updates to Parabellum, one of the greatest mods ever made for Rome 2 Total War. It's a mod collection that sticks true to vanilla and gameplay feel, but that enhances almost everything that Rome 2 just didn't do very well. I promise you guys that if you're not that big into massive mods like DEI, you will absolutely love this one. So let's get started. Now, if you don't know anything about Parabellum, this is the essential mod collection that affects everything about Rome 2, from the different weather conditions you can encounter in battles, to unlocking every single faction in every campaign, to a complete UI overhaul that makes it much more enjoyable and realistic, to a more responsive and smart AI in every way. It's a huge mod collection, and the beauty of it is you can subscribe to any one of these and not the others, or you can subscribe to the dozens of other mods and submods that are compatible with it for your own tailored experience. For me, what Parabellum does so well is just make Vanilla Rome 2 more fun to play. Simple as that. It doesn't do anything fancy. It doesn't slow down the campaign. It doesn't make me feel like I have to wait 50 turns for construction or negotiation or dealing with public order. It's a full-on unadulterated version of Vanilla that I can just turn on and play a campaign in a few days and really enjoy it. Now, in the last six months or so, work has ramped up again to continue continue making this an amazing mod, from fixing a lot of bug issues, adding lots of great units and unit visuals, improving AI and UI and faction playability, and that's what we're going to dive into today. So let's start right at the top here. The newest updates add a lot of really good quality of life changes across the board, but especially in the campaign. First and foremost, when you go into the main menu, you can see the campaign names have all been changed and placed in chronological order, which is actually really cool. This means that you can start with Rome, for example, in the Rise of the Republic campaign, and go through each era, essentially through the Grand Campaign, Hannibal at the Gates, etc., all the way to Empire Divided to get the proper chronological feel, which I really 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 like. Next up we have the polish to the campaign experience. Now aside from the literal hundreds of bug and crash fixes which make this whole thing much smoother to play, we've got over 200 new recruitable general models, we've got 20 new historical units, mostly for the Roman and Greek factions, we've got new technologies and overhauled artwork, we've got new guaranteed major factions in the late game which is really really good to see, and we've got plenty of decent visual upgrades to make it all much nicer to look at. The biggest changes on the campaign from me though are that the agents now have a lot more utility and efficiency for them. So actions that were previously turned off or uh, buggy or disabled for some reason now work properly, uh, which means that, you know, if you're going to use agents or you didn't like them before, now is a great time to start using them again in Parabellum. The unit UI stat panel you see here on the left has had a complete reshuffle with brand new values as well. And what's more, units of the same type. So if you're looking at cavalry, or melee infantry to recruit have the same stats on the same rows. So you can actually start comparing units effectively when you want to recruit, which is absolutely genius. And finally, we have chapter missions that have been restored for virtually every single faction. I don't know why these were disabled, but they're back and that is definitely a good thing. Most of these changes to the campaign mean you'll have a much more realistic and polished experience in Parabellum. The AI, especially with factions like Rome, Carthage, and the Seleucid Lots of factions have been made a lot more aggressive and smart, so challenge is always present, but the quality of life additions will make playing your campaign just that bit more engaging and enjoyable. Then we have all the changes to Parabellum battles, and I have to say, they are massive. Unit stats including morale, speed, and melee defense are all affected by 12 different types of terrain now. 12 different types! So when you have an army facing off against the enemy, but there's forest and marshes and muddy bits and rivers, you seriously need to think about how you want to approach the enemy without getting bogged down. We've got a longer battle submod included, which makes battles go from an average of 8 to 10 minutes, I'd say, to about 20 minutes.
traits, which I really like. It means that the AI will be more defensive in battles, they'll favor the high ground more and respond to your flanking threats better. It will also mean being aware of those terrains that affect troops, so it's making it all more realistic and tactical versus armies just charging at each other as it often happens. Many units now have upgraded textures and visuals, fixed buggy assets like shields and wonky arms. Some of them also have the tactical retreat ability, which is really nice to have. And while others have certain formations removed because the AI can't use or react to them effectively, meaning these changes will help the AI just be a little less dumb in certain situations. Another change that makes this possible is the removal of capture points, which is a big plus in my books. And the final big change here is that the army compositions you'll be coming up against are much more varied and challenging. The mod apparently had an army comp bug that meant the AI wouldn't be recruiting effectively, so that will impact your battles big time with you needing to prepare better and use your units better to counter the enemy and take advantage of weak spots. That coupled with the polishing of all army rosters for every faction makes battles much more enjoyable to play than before. Everything here from adjusting unit weapon lengths to adding new new visual assets like rock formations to battle maps, or making hoplites and pikemen beefy units to take out means Parabellum battles are some of the most fun I've ever played in a Total War mod. The maps are huge and the AI knows how to use them, terrain detail makes a huge difference in how you move around, and the unit behavior and stat changes make it all seem more realistic than ever. All of these changes and more make it well worth checking this mod out for the battles alone. Overall, Parabellum is essentially vanilla plus. Not as complex and slow as DEI, but definitely really meaningful, visually appealing, and with more varied and enjoyable gameplay experiences compared to vanilla. The mod achieves historical authenticity while keeping close to base Rome 2 in a way I haven't ever experienced in another mod for the game, which is why I think it's really important to spotlight. It's very unique, and at the moment I'd say massively underrated compared to other mods currently available. And you should definitely give it a try, especially after the latest updates. I've linked the mod collection in the description below so you can get in there and start downloading the various different parts or maybe you just want to try one or two depending on what you're looking for. Whatever you decide, I think you'll be very impressed. Parabellum also has a Discord server where you can share feedback, keep up to date with the latest developments, speak to like-minded Total War players, and of course speak to the devs themselves. I've dropped a link to the Discord down in the video description as well. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, and if you did, do give it a like, drop any thoughts or questions in the comments section below, and subscribe for more Total War content, gameplay, and news just like this. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.